Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we're going to be playing Entropic Lines and you can see uh, Sleuth there sort of surrounded by chaos of entropy all around him while somehow he's still studying it. That seems to be the common theme here about Sleuth is he's always studying whatever's going on around him. Now the actual full title of this puzzle is Entropic Lines with Exums by Sudoku Explorer and I'm actually thinking this is the first time I've played any puzzle let alone featured on the channel from Sudoku Explorer, so I'm really looking forward to this particular puzzle. It's got a 95% rating as of the time of recording. There's been a few hundred solves, but um, I don't think that's really going to matter. I think it's unlikely that you guys have seen it elsewhere. It looks fantastic. Really excited to play it. Let's get on with it straight away and take a look at today's puzzle, Entropic Lines with X Sums by Sudoku Explorer. Rules-wise, and I think I always confuse entropy and modulus, X sums, it's been a while, so it's probably worthwhile just walking through these quickly. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply, we know what that is. Place the digits one to nine once each in every row, column, and three by three box. So nothing unusual about that one. Then entropic lines. So every three consecutive cells along an entropic line must have a low digit, one, two, three, a middle digit, four, five, six, and a high digit, seven, eight, nine. So if this is two, that's the low. The next one could be middle or high. It doesn't have to be, what it cannot be is below. Let's go with high. The next one along would have to be from middle, from four, five, or six. It could be any of them. Let's go with four. Now the key here is it's that every three cells. So one, two, three, but the cycle starts again. One, two, three, this would have to be a low digit, etc., etc. X sums, a number outside the grid, gives the sum of the first n digits in that row or column where n is the, f is the cell closest to the given clue. So essentially what this is saying, this 9, is in here there is a set of digits that will sum up to, the, to 9. The number of digits is dictated by whatever is placed inside the first cell. Let's say I go with a 2, that's saying that these two cells have to sum up to 9 and therefore this would have to be a 7. Fairly straightforward. That's all the rules we have for today. So as always, if you want to play along, link will be in the description down below for you to do so. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. Now, I'm sure by now you realize from my voice that uh, I am still unfortunately a little bit under the weather. I, I really don't want to use blue, yellow and red because normally these are associated with low, medium and high. So I'm going to pick orange. Um, and essentially I'm just painting every third cell the same color, purple. Um, that is clearly not correct. That is clearly not correct. That is purple. That, okay. So one, two, three. No, three. One, two, three. Yep. One, two, three. Wouldn't help me to make a mistake quite early on like that. And then one, two. I'm wondering if I went for the wrong line in terms of colors, given kind of how much longer this one is. I mean, I can straight away, 45, I mean, that's probably where I should have started with X sums, is that these cells, these two cells, have to be nines. Because essentially what this is saying is that the first, you know, X sum cell sums up to 45. Well, because Sudoku says there are the digits one to nine once each in every column, and for me to get to 45, I have to add literally all of them. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, all the way to 9 will get me to 45. So I need all 9 digits in here. That tells me that orange is definitely high. I am going to change it to red. We still need to figure out what the others are. Um, I can also do a 9 in here for the other 45. Now I'm going to say that this is also high. Although it doesn't really matter, I've already got kind of um, the entropy, or at least one of the three entropies on this one. So it's not like you need to guess. But um, because the remaining digits to 45 is 5, and you cannot get three unique digits to add up to 5, um, that has to be 7 or 8, which is, of course, high again. Then we're going to do the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Two, three, one, two, three, and I am double checking everything. Uh, it's a bit 
slow for you guys. Apologies for that. One, two, three. But making a silly mistake so early on would just be immensely frustrating. So these two cells, they have to be seven and eight. Uh, this would have to be seven or eight because it's not nine. This is another seven or eight. Again, it's not nine. I'm fairly sure this digit is not nine. Uh, and the reason I know that is whatever this digit is, if it's nine, it's saying I'm adding up all of the digits and therefore this is gonna be 45, not nine. So really we're talking about a relatively low digit that is not one, because that would be just a sum of one, it's at least two, which means I am summing up this digit in it and therefore if this is nine, I will break Sudoku or I break the X sums because that'd be nine plus the two, that's already 11. So this is another seven or eight. And because this is at least a two, I think we've just shown that one doesn't work, two plus whatever this cell is, is already at nine. If I make this eight, whatever this is, given it's a minimum of two, um, it's already gonna be broken. So that's gonna be seven, that's gonna be eight. That's seven, that's eight. That seven gives me an eight up here. It also gives me a five down there because I need a remainder of five and essentially I'm adding up the first eight digits Therefore, this has to be the five. That is a middle digit, and therefore I have polarity on this long line, which is, sorry, polarity? Polarity kind of works. Uh, so it's yellow before every red. I'm just gonna do that reasonably quickly. And then hopefully when I come in to actually add up all the blues, there are not going to be any surprises. So it's after red, after red, after red, yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, blue. That was meant to be yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, blue. So all of these are blue. And this is another yellow that I missed earlier. Excellent. Right, this is one or three. Um, we may want to think about solving this cell. All right, actually, uh, Sudoku says nine is not here in box three. Nine is in one of these two cells. Keep playing that forward. Nine's in box six. Well, it can't be on a middle digit. That's got to be the nine. I don't know if I'm going to color the entire grid. I'm going to leave it as it is for now. I may come to regret that later. In fact, I can just fill these in. This is seven, sorry, eight. This is nine. <coughs> Excuse me. This is clearly seven. These two cells are eight and nine. We haven't quite used, in fact, I am going to just cross things out as I do. So if we've used that 45, we've used that 40, we've used that nine, and we've used that 45. 13 in not too many cells. Well, it can't be one, can't be two. Yeah, because I would need an 11 here. And it can't be bigger than three because this is a blue cell. So essentially these two digits now need to add up to 10. And this is four or six. You're not gonna have a double five in here. And I'm gonna say to get to 10, that will be another four or six. So that's also another four, six. That's gotta be a five. That's a five, that's four or six. Um, one or two one or three don't know just gonna ignore that for now up here i need one two and seven a definite seven it's starting to show us at least what this um polarity may be this is of course a nine because i've already placed a seven and eight this is of course a, a low digit these are all one two threes so is this cell, so that's all the low digits done here. This is a high digit that is seven or eight, can't be nine. There's another low digit and then another four or six. Um, I'm gonna stop pencil marking for a second and just take stock of what we're after. So the 13 clue we've kind of used already. These have to add up to 23, these five digits. And we know that this is four or six. We know that this is not a high digit 
in fact that's another four or six this is another low digit so this is another one two three and this is another four or six right <coughs> excuse me now we know that seven and five are twelve i still need an eleven between these digits which the only way I can see how it would work is if I absolutely maximize everything. 6, 3, and 2 will get me to 11. So these are not 1s, that is a 1, that is a 6. These are now 4 5s. And that 23 clue is done, that 13 clue is done. We're done with exons, shockingly. So really, from here, we need to be using the entropy lines a bit more, as well as obviously Sudoku. Um, 103. Right, so green can't be blue. I mean, we may as well resolve what are each of these polarities, because otherwise I'd end up with four digits that are considered low. So green has to be yellow, because we already placed red, and purple has to be blue. That would allow me to use colors on this one, which I still haven't figured out. Um, we'll come to that in a second. Is it a second or is it right now? I'm not actually sure. In fact, that's a one because there's a two, three pair in here. This is two, three. This is two, three. Don't know what these are. Don't know what this is. I don't know what a lot of them are, so I'm, I'm going to move on and just maybe... So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. These are all orange. These are all purple. And these are all green. And uh, we'll figure out what all of that means. Orange, again, as an example, can't be red. Which is not a lot of information, to be fair. And red has to be one of purple or green. But it can't be purple because I've already got three reds in row five. So green in this particular case is red. Which also means that purple has to be blue because we've already pencil marked this to be one, two, seven, and it's clearly not a seven anymore. So purple has to be blue and then therefore orange has to be yellow. And uh, that will allow me to move forward with a seven in here. One or two there, one, two, three with a definite three, seven or eight here. In fact, I've got a seven. I guess that's the disadvantage of not coloring it all. None of these are fives. That's the five. This is a four, six pair. That's another four, six. There's a definite one in here. Therefore, that's two. That's one. These are not twos. That's a one, three pair. Um, that means that this is... 1, 3, and that's the 2. That makes this a 3. We need a 2 at the very in row 1. It can only go in here. That's all the low digits done. This can't be an 8. Well, we knew we already knew that. Actually, that 8 gave me a 9 here, and therefore a 7 there, and therefore a 9 here, if I trust my pencil marks. And then the remaining digits are 4, 5, 6. Uh, this can only be a 5. We've already got a 4, 6 pair in the row. That's a 5. That gives me the rest of the column 4 and 6 and four and five. I'm going to rewind a second. What did I do wrong? Clearly something. So five, four, six, makes this four, makes this five, must be a typo. And then six in here makes this four, makes this six, and suddenly all of it is happy again. That's not the one, that's three, that's one. Don't know what these are. Um, I assume I can solve some of these. Yeah, eight. No, no. At least not yet anyway. One of these is a two, that's not a two. That's a one, three pair, that is a two. I need a three in row four, so that's the three. This is a four, six pair, because I've already placed the five. That's just a seven. That's not one. So these are two, three pair, and this is another four, six. 
Oh uh, yeah, I've already placed a five. So I've got a seven in one of these two cells and then one of one or two, because it can't be three. Mm. Surely there are easier things. That six gave me a four. In fact, that three gave me a two and a three and a one. This is low. This is, they're both five, six. And this is a runoff, seven, eight, nine. That can't be nine, that can't be seven, that can't be eight. One, two, three, three. Yeah, all, so essentially that's another low high digit that is seven or nine. Got two yellows, I need a third, which is not six. This is four, five, this is four, five as well, because of that six. That six gave me four, five down here. That's low digits done. Middle digits, at least done in row seven. So that's the other one, which is not four or five. That's got to be six, four, five, four, five, six. Come on, I can type five. I think we are nearly done with all the yellows. Just double checking I've got nine of them i think the answer to that is yes <coughs> excuse me three gave me one and three no threes one two pair that is a three this has to be eight or nine to complete column two um three gave me two and three and one and two and I think the conclusion is I should have colored it would have been a lot easier if I colored the entire grid. I need a one in here and another seven, eight. I can't see that. I need another high digit from seven, eight, nine and a two. That's the two that gives me, in fact, that was one and three. That gives me all the low digits. So that's the high digit. That's the seven, that's eight, that's seven. That's nine, that's eight, that's nine, that's seven. That has to be the one, and if I've not made any mistakes, that is an eight for the finish. Lovely puzzle, Sudoku Explorer. Um, one worthy of exploring for sure. And uh, fairly straightforward for a nice weekday puzzle. Hope you guys enjoyed it, the puzzle and the video, and I'll see you back soon. Bye-bye for now.